hey guys hope you're doing fine welcome to another episode of sensei talks my name is naman and in this video i'm going to explain the basic use of g77 code in sensei turning so watch this video till the very end and let's roll g77 is basically a code used for stock removal of outer diameter of any component so uh, using g77 you can easily remove excess amount of material from a component so let's suppose we have this component this is the forging part and we need to cut down this much portion of this component so the excess amount of material you can easily remove this excess amount of material using g77 to machine and component there are basically two stages first is the rough turning and second is the final turning so let us uh, suppose uh, this is the forging part of length 32 mm and diameter 116 mm and we need to create this part out of this whole forging component so uh, it need to be done in two stages first is the rough turning which means we need to remove the excess amount of material and make the part anywhere close to the actual looking part so in rough turning the excess amount of material is need to be removed from this component and now to meet the desired accuracy and precise work we need to do the final turning once again of this component so by doing final turning uh, we can obtain the exact amount of accuracy and precise work in this component also never get confused with g77 g19 and g20 because uh, these all three codes perform uh, the same function uh, as we know different machines have different manufacturers and also different control system so on some machine g77 will work as a roughing cycle while some other machines g90 or g20 may work as a roughing cycle let's consider a forging part with dimension 32 mm length and 116 mm of diameter and let's create a program for this component out of it using g77 so as you can see i have created a program using g97 for the first portion of this component so uh, the program starts with the program number which is 5237 the second line is the home position code which is g28 and in third line we'll call the tool which is tool number 5 with an offset number of 05 and in the fourth line G97 is used for constant RPM which is 700 and M03 to start the spindle in clockwise direction. If you guys having any problem uh, with this portion, you can watch my previous videos for a detailing of these codes. Now the first thing we need to do is to call our tool from tool turret to anywhere uh, near our component. So we give the uh, rapid interpolation which is G0. and give the coordinates of x and z so uh, we give the coordinates of x 200 and z 100 it means our component will reach uh, somewhere at a distance of 200 along x axis and 100 on z axis which means uh, approximately at this position now i will call the tool for the more closer by giving x 120 and z 2 so now our component is at 2 mm Uh, along z axis and 120 mm along x axis so which means this is approximately the position of our tool since the diameter of forging part is 160 mm so uh, we'll just start with a first cut of 1 mm so we bring our tool close to x115 and giving a 2 mm gap along z axis so when a program runs this line 113 mm uh, diameter is maintained and our tool will move from this position to maintaining a diameter of 113 mm up to 32 mm depth in this direction and now all we need to do is just to give the value of x so as you can see by keep changing the value of x the diameter will keep on increasing and our tool will work in this way like from this position to maintain 113 mm diameter and now jumping back to the original position giving much more diameter downward so we can cut more part so using this program our tool will jump to this position and turning 32 mm 
on z axis and again on the next turn it will jump to its original position maintaining at a diameter of 119 and moving along z axis the tool will further move until we reach the diameter of 109 mm now when first portion of this component is completed we need to machine the further more parts so all we need to do is just to change the value of z and x axis so uh, after this our tool is at this position maintained at 109 mm diameter now the next diameter we need to achieve is 103 up to a depth of 20 mm so all we need to do after this position just change the value of x and z so from 32 the z axis will become 20 and the x value will change as usual which means x from 109 207 205 and then to 103 so similarly this way the furthermore part is machined using g77 and again for the last component we further change the values from z minus 20 to z minus 10 x 109 to x 103 again x 101 98 and 97 and hence the 97 diameter is achieved so this is how we turn apart using g77 the basic benefit of g77 is uh, we can easily give different type of depth of cut by giving different type of diameter values which is the x value in each line so that was all from my side today uh, if you find this video informative do share with your friends and don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe thanks a lot